this video, I'll be talking a Christmas carol and in particular key quotations around the theme of poverty and social injustice. If you find our video content useful, then like, subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of new releases as they arrive. Let me start with this quote from Stave Wong. It's Scrooge talking to the charity collectors when they approach him in his office. I don't make merry myself at Christmas and I can't afford to make idle people merry. I help to support the establishments I have mentioned. And he's talking about workhouses. They cost enough and those who are badly off must go there. Many can't go there and many would rather die. If they'd rather die, said Scrooge, they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. Scrooge represents the attitude of many rich people in the 19th century. His description of the poor as idle shows that he thinks that poverty is the result of laziness and not bad circumstances. He's wrong in most cases, and this was what Dickens wanted to tell the reader. Scrooge thought that the solution to poverty was to send young people to workhouses, and Dickens uses a Christmas carol to express his dissatisfaction with these places. Next, let me talk you through another quote from Stave One, and this is where Marley's ghost appears to Scrooge in his home. You are fettered, said Scrooge, trembling. Tell me why. I wear the chain I forged in life, replied the ghost. I made it link by link and yard by yard. I girded it on of my own free will and of my own free will I wore it. Is its pattern strange to you? Dickens is using Marley's chains as a metaphor for the bad things he did in life, including his heartless attitude to the poor. He therefore is suggesting that a life lived with selfishness and greed will result in eternal torment in death. Next up, here's stave three. This is Scrooge visiting the home of the Cratchits after the death of Tiny Tim. Spirit, said Scrooge, with an interest he had never felt before. Tell me if Tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat, replied the ghost, in the poor chimney corner and a crutch without an owner, carefully preserved. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. Tiny Tim represents the innocent and blameless poor who suffered through no fault of their own. Dickens shows the reader that the lives of many poor people are reliant on the generosity and compassion of the rest of society. The last quote is also from Stave 3 and this is Scrooge talking to the ghost of Christmas present shortly after seeing ignorance and want. Have they no refuge or resource? cried Scrooge. Are there no prisons? said the spirit, turning on him for the last time with his own words. Are there no workhouses? The ghost of Christmas present shows Scrooge ignorance and want to emphasise that poverty is a cycle. Poor children grow up to be desperate adults if they are given no opportunities. When Scrooge's line is quoted back to him by the ghost as a repetition of this line that has come up time and again in the story, 
Dickens is making it clear that prisons and workhouses don't give the poor any chance to escape that cycle of poverty. The information in this video can also be found in written form in our A Christmas Carol revision guide. You can buy a digital copy of this from the Twinkle website using the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.